It is 542, and to help with the support its mission of helping victims of domestic abuse and sexual violence, the Women's Center, well, they are hosting their or holding their Taste of Chocolate fundraiser. That's right. It's a fundraiser they hold every year. And Brooke is live in Carbondale with organizers on details of this year's event. Yeah, good morning, Evie and Dave. Well, the Taste of Chocolate will be taking place on Friday, February 4th, right here at Garden Grove. And I'm already getting in on the action, enjoying some sweet treats this morning, a little Froyo or frozen yogurt. And joining me again this morning is John Pfeiffer. So, John, what's going to be taking place this year? You guys are back to in person. Kind of get in the way of my food consumption because <laughs> bre breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Uh, but we're going to have sort of a normal collection of chocolatey goodness, uh, brownies and cookies and frozen yogurt. Uh, but we'll also have some savory treats, some with a chocolatey theme, some without. Uh, we'll have Ari and Sandy's kind of famous stuffed mushrooms. Mm. Mm. It's making yeah. me crazy. <laughs> they, they, they'd heat things up a little bit and some some pork and, and just a, a great collection of things from vendors that have been good to us for decades. And I know that one thing that you guys like to do as well is some auction items and bidding. Uh, any good uh, prizes up? <laughs> uh, so last year when we went remote, we finally had to uh, begin to use a bidding app and take all of our bidding for our silent auction items online. It's something that was overdue. We probably should have done it four or five years ago. Most people had. Uh, but we'll have a silent auction again with over a hundred items and people will be able to bid on that starting probably about a week before the event. Uh, and then we'll also have a live auction. Diane Doherty will be back to uh, bother and harass people into bidding to raise more money for the Women's Center. Well, talking about money, we're going to be talking a little bit later on the show of, you know, how the funds will be used to go ahead and further your guys' mission of helping women, children, and men all throughout uh, southern Illinois. But for now, Nick, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this Froyo because it's really never too cold to enjoy ice cream. She's eating cold stuff. She's not cold. wrong, though. I mean, it's never too cold to enjoy ice cream. Ice cream is delicious. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> I don't know. We're kind of pushing the limits on that, I think, this morning. <laughs> uh, checking in outside in Poplar Bluff, and uh, we have, of course, been tracking a little winter weather uh, yesterday afternoon and even into the evening hours. You can see some uh, MoDOT crews still out there with the blinking lights and a lot of those uh, crews making sure that salt is down, that uh, some of the main roads at least don't have any black ice out there this morning. It is a concern. Right now, 16 degrees. So once again, if the road looks like it's wet with temperatures that cold, it